Now at 5.30, cold calculated murder. Two shooters ambushing two men, killing one of them and critically injuring the other. Those victims were gunned down inside a convenience store in the middle of the day in Opelaka earlier this month. At this point, police have made no arrests. CBS 4's Natalia Zaya is live at Miami-Dade Police Headquarters in Doral with a look at this exclusive video. Natalia. Homicide detectives and the family of the man who was killed in this shooting hope that you will take a very close look at this video to try to identify these killers. A murder rampage broke into the quiet lunch hour on a Tuesday afternoon in an Opelaka neighborhood. This surveillance video from the Quick Market convenience store shows the moments two killers burst inside and opened fire on Tavares Fullington and his friend Matthew Williams January 5th. At one point, one of the shooters runs out the front door, possibly acting as a lookout, before he rushes back inside. Fullington lost his life that day. He ran, he got shot in the back, and he ran, he got shot two times in the face, so that's horrible. It's, and he was begging for his life. He was begging for his life. Is still shocking. Janet Fullington still misses her nephew every day and says his five year old daughter and his father, who broke down at the crime scene, <laughs> are struggling the most. My brother, he really takes it in heart. He really, really, because he sees him every day. This memorial reminds people of the violence that happened here, but what Fullington's family really wants to see is an arrest. They still haven't found nobody yet, and it's sad. Fullington worries about the violence these killers could inflict on someone else. That person's still out there, and he can do it again and again. Two weeks after they buried Tavares, they still have to grapple with the fact that there were people nearby while Tavares and Matthew were shot who have not yet come forward. Please talk. Please tell. He didn't deserve to die like that. He didn't deserve to die like that. Now, a friend of Matthew Williams tells me that he is still in the hospital recovering and that he has undergone multiple surgeries. If you recognize either of the men in that video, call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers 305-471-TIPS. You can remain anonymous. Natalia Gazea, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Natalia.